day canoeing the Amazon rainforest. I hope nothing goes wrong. Whoa, what is that over there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh, stop. oh, oh, oh. my gosh, okay. The captain stays with the ship. Get out of the water! He's looking at us and continues to swim the other way. We are on separate sides of the Amazon River right now. I think we just survive here. We're 20 feet away from each other. I have to go do something over here. Eric, you have no idea what you're doing. Now the reason I got off on the other side of the river is because recently I've been obsessed with these primitive survival videos where these guys seem to build luxurious huts in the middle of the rainforest. So for the past two months, I've had a team of those exact same guys building a custom one for me to spend the next day in. Oh my God. What is that? Eric? Um, no, not Eric, not Eric. Where is he? Uh, okay. Where is the guy? He's on the other side oh, of the river. Is. Well, this is his place. This is from Eric? Yeah. Dude, this thing is crazy. Is that a pool? Pool in the Amazon jungle, baby. Who are you? I'm Dan, the survival man. Hey. Wait, wait, where's the man? Hey, Dan? Harry. Harry, okay, this is not good. Okay, well, uh, Harry here was supposed to be their survival guide to make sure they didn't, you know, die <laughs> in the Amazon. I'm realizing I might've gotten off on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> so he went to the wrong side of the river. <laughs> That's right, I ended up on the wrong side of the river, which means that for the next day, I'll have to survive in the Amazon rainforest using only my bare hands. So the boys will get to enjoy my primitive technology mansion. A little secret, I've actually been preparing to be in this situation for the last few months. I even went to survival school where I learned how to start a fire with my bare hands, build a shelter, catch fish, all kinds of stuff that we're gonna do later in this video. And I learned the survival priority list. Priority number one in the jungle, shelter. Two, water, fire, food. And I'm not talking about 7-Eleven pizza hot dogs out here. I have trained and prepared to eat some gnarly, not ideal food. But first on the priority list is shelter. We're gonna start with the basics, clear this area out and build our shelter. Mac and Tyler are probably doing the exact same thing. Ah! Oh! Mac, get in here, let go! <laughs> this is primitive technology. Rope swing, slide, house. What is Eric doing right now? This doesn't feel fair. No, I wouldn't call cutting down trees with my bare hands fair. In comparison to swimming in a nice chilled pool. But things weren't all bad because I was actually beginning to build a friendship with the man I found in the jungle, Harry. Definitely have bugs in my pants right now. Do you have any bugs in your pants? <laughs> all right. Or at least I was trying to. Nevertheless, I had a shelter to build. Think of that camera. You hold it up here. I just want to show you guys how big these leaves are. I'm like six foot three, and this is the largest leaf in the world. And tonight, it's my roof. So now that we have a waterproof roof, we're gonna make a hammock that goes under these trees. So this is tree bark that we just pulled off of a tree, and we're going to literally make it into rope. Okay, so we have a bunch of strips of bark here. What we're gonna do is weave them together until we finally have something like, behold, the nature hammock. This I am actually so proud of. I worked super hard in training to get the stitching right. And then this guy right here just took it to a completely different plane. Here we go, the moment truth oh yeah baby i'm wet i'm hungry i haven't drinking any water but this is a huge morale boost this right here baby is a jungle grill we have a nice deck here we've got our coconuts going on this is the layout it's basically couch bed style here and ourselves a jungle outhouse man jeez bro you built a toilet in the jungle you haven't lived till you're taking a dump in the amazon i just want to put into perspective what we're looking at here tables chairs cups unlimited bananas a pool a rope swing i found a pitcher full of spiked lemonade this place is literally the ultimate survival scenario i mean we can do whatever we want cheers buddy we're going to build a water filtration system i am so tired <laughs> and hungry. And I think the only thing that can help me right now is finding water and food. This piece of bamboo here is gonna be my cup to catch the water. Now, I never said this in front of Harry, but after eight hours of surviving in the jungle, I almost felt more lonely than I did hungry. And with almost no conversation with my boy, I realized that developing a bond with him had in a way become my new number one priority. Harry, are you proud of me? Okay, I will keep trying. In order to build a water filtration system, first you need to build a cone, which you'll fill with sand and cloth. Eric, you have to put your calzones to filter. My underwear. You want my underwear? Yes. Uh... All right, Harry, I just do whatever you say, so. I mean, I've done so much in these boxers, I don't know if this water will actually be any fresher. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my underwear into here, and then I'm just gonna put some of this sand into the filter. And that is a water filter. I'm gonna be honest, Harry helped me a lot with this one. Muy bien. Uh, muy bonita. Are you proud of me? I'm gonna get you one of these days. Okay, and now we're gonna tie it up on this thing with the cup right here, fill it with water, and gravity is going to do the rest. This is actual fresh water. 
still tastes like underwear. <laughs> and while I was trying to build a friendship with my friend Harry, the boys were doing the exact opposite. About the next 30 minutes, me and Tyler have decided to vigorously mess with Dan. Get that right now. You guys are horrible. I think I fell down from the tree. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> you just need to cool off, man. So that's the end of this game, I think? Probably. The next thing on my priority list to make sure that I don't violently perish in the jungle is fire. I'm thinking maybe once I start a fire with my bare hands, I might finally gain Harry's approval, which has become my entire goal of this trip. To start a fire using only your bare hands and nature, you need a few things. Number one is a soft, dry piece of wood, a stick made out of the same wood, a wooden handle with sap inside of it, and a bow with string like this. This is actually from my waistband. So first you're gonna take your dry stick and twist it up like this on the bow. Basically what we're doing is just rubbing two sticks together really fast until this wood heats to four to 800 degrees, in which case a hot ember is formed. And here we go. smoke. Okay. We have anything? I don't. <sighs> that is uh, horribly demotivating. But anything great takes time. Like starting a business. Now being that I'm stuck in the Colombian jungle, I can't do anything online, but Shopify allows you to sell products online, in person, and on all of the big boy social platforms. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I gotta focus and stop talking so much. Shopify offers an all-in-one e-commerce platform with no technical experience necessary. You guys know I have a new product called Pizzafy and I only trust Shopify to run that site. But outside of me, I think the biggest reason you guys can trust them is because they power millions of businesses in over 175 countries. We got a coal, we got a coal, we got a coal. You guys can see that red coal right there. Okay. And once you've got your ember going, you lightly push it. <laughs> yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I trained for this moment. Once you have your fire, your business going, you can enjoy it with your friends like Harry. Harry, come over here real quick. You and me, we're friends, right? Ah. So if you're ready to start your next adventure, you can use the link in my description to get a 14 day free trial of Shopify. So I've got shelter, clean water, fire. All I need now is food. I learned in survival school, the easiest way to get food in the Amazon is to take a hollowed out log, put it in the bottom of the river and leave it there for a few hours while fish and other river creatures swim into it. Oh <laughs> my. It's about as fresh as it gets out here. Let's throw them on a grill. Now, this is an actual feast. Oh, we got anything for dinner? What? Oh, there is something in there. What is that? Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I heard it. Oh, yeah. I have to say finding food did seem to make Harry happy, which made me happy. I did a pretty good job, huh? Ah. Never mind. Now a big strong man like me needs to eat more than two crabs to stay alive. So up next we decided to try fishing. Yeah, baby. So that right there is gonna be our fishing pole. And this stick right here should be able to catch up to a 20 pound fish. We've got a tree here. I've got some natural line. I'm gonna throw it in the deep end and see what happens. Whoa! We got some steamed rice, jungle plantains. We have sabalo fish, tropical fruit juice. Bottoms up boys. This oh, this is so good. so good. It's so easy for us to survive in this situation that we're actually just enjoying ourselves. Like my greatest fear is that I might choke on a perfectly <laughs> cooked fish. Turns out I'm a phenomenal fisher and totally did not spend the majority of the rest of the day sitting right here to only see this. Oh, did you see that? That was a fish. Thankfully, Harry was slightly above average. Okay. <laughs> It's like you showed me up again. So the total food for day one consists of two crabs and five fish, all roasted off that lovely fire that I made earlier. While he sets this up, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience today. You know those videos on YouTube, they're like primitive technology. They live off of nothing and build these giant jungle mansions in the middle of nowhere out of only the materials that they have. The goal with the mansion that I had Dan build was to see what it was like to actually experience one of those places. But I feel like by being on this side, I actually got to experience primitive technology. And watching this absolute killing machine of a man right here, 
here, help me do what we've done today, has opened my eyes to how much can be done with such few resources. It's incredible. This meal right here would probably cost, I don't know, $150 or something back in LA. Here, we catch these in the stream, fold this into a burrito like this, and set it on the fire like that. I am starving. Words cannot explain how excited I am. Ty, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Surviving in the Amazon really ain't that bad. Especially when Eric had a endless supply of spiked lemonade. What was your favorite part about the day so far? I didn't know it at the time, but my favorite part of the day is when Eric separated from us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, taste test. Oh, yes. Here we go. Cheers. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. I cannot get over the fact that this food right here was free. There's no grocery store involved, just a guy with a stick. It might be late, but the boys do have one more surprise that I set up for them. Boys, I'm gonna tell you that's not the best part of your day. Things are about to get real. I think you've been having a lot of this lemonade. Yeah, yes I have. Now just remember, this is all Eric, not me. Uh. Eric? That makes sense, Eric set the Eric. <laughs> Hey, ladies, let me introduce myself. I'm Eric. How you doing? I'm also Eric. Both Eric. Eric. Follow along. Okay, follow along. They're the experts. <laughs> I drank too much lemonade, Ty. I'm really dizzy. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 help. Hey, 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 yeah. Question for you, miss. I'm trying to escape the jungle. You wouldn't know how to do that, would you? I don't think that's a yes. We're finally going to shut down for the night and crawl into bed. We're gonna leave the fire going to detract predators and when it dies down, it'll keep the insects off of me, hopefully. Harry, how do you think we're gonna split this hammock? It's like maybe I take this half and you take this half? No. What do you mean, no? He's just walking into the jungle. Oh, watch this! Catch him! Oh. 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 That was awesome! the chance to tell you how much I love you. Today was not the day that I expected, but it was the day that I prepared for. When you hear about the rainforest, you hear about this dangerous, scary place. But looking back on today, there was so much beauty in this place. And the people who live here, I am so inspired by what people are capable of with such limited resources. I may not have a bamboo mansion, but I have you guys. I have a roof over my head. And Harry says he has a little surprise for me for breakfast. Maybe waffles, French toast. I guess we'll have to wait till the morning. That being said, I'm gonna turn this off for tonight. Good night. Gentlemen, it's time to tell you what I have not told you. Eric had a plan. The plan was tomorrow morning to build a raft, rescue you two, and get out of here. Now, no Eric, the task falls to you. Well, we have the escape plan. That's right. Lucky for me, the boys would be building us a raft to escape this place once and for all the next morning. I'm not sure what time it is. I'm not sure if I really slept. What I am sure of is that I have probably 900 bug bites all over my body. The sounds of the Amazon last night were terrifying. It is so unbelievably loud in here. I wasn't lying. I didn't sleep at all. I even tried to go for a walk to tire myself out, but I ended up finding the world's largest frog. That is a huge toad. Oh my god. I'm going to eat breakfast and jump on this raft. Unless they decided to not make the raft and forget about me, which is possible. Rise and shine, boys. Time to get to the main river and build us a boat. Have a banana. No, I've never handled one of these before. This is a good time to learn. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Dan, look at me. That was that was much faster. Well, the boys were hard at work. I still had Harry's breakfast surprise to look forward to. Come on in, Harry. What do you got for me? Ah! Harry! This is not breakfast, Harry. Giant grubs. They're like bigger than my pinky. You wanna eat? We're gonna eat these together? Okay. I feel like if I eat one of these, maybe Harry will finally say he's proud of me, maybe? Oh God, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, here we go. I don't even care, this is normal food. This is what we do. Okay, uno, dos, tres, cheers. I can't do it, Harry. I can't do it. I. This is not the breakfast I thought we were gonna have here. Harry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we're still friends? All right. Oh, that was a horrible experience. We're getting somewhere. Boom! 
Harry, I've got to talk to you. I may or may not have some friends who are also stranded in the jungle, and they should be preparing a raft to come save me. I don't know if this raft is actually going to have room for both of us. Um, so I think we're going to have to part ways here. I don't know how else to tell you this. I just, I think this is kind of where our roads diverge. Maybe we'll meet again one day. Here, come bring it in. We're going to hug it out. Hug it out. Dude, been a pleasure. Ah, bueno trabajo, Eric. I did a good job. Oh my gosh! Finally, after days of trying to win him over, Harry, my Amazon rainforest biological father, had told me what I wanted to hear this entire time. That he was proud of me. Which, to be honest, made things really awkward. Uh, that's a huge, it's a, it's a huge moment for me. Um, wow. I did not expect you to say that. Um, I don't know how to handle myself. I'm just gonna leave. Um, I love, I love you. Okay. Wait, never mind. Um, bye, Harry. Bye. I'll never forget you, Harry. Sounds like the boys are ready for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Come aboard. We're still boys, right? Yes, yes. we're still boys and boys. Okay, is this considered a working raft? Yes. We did it! Yes! yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Our raft doesn't look great, but we did end up escaping the Amazon rainforest. I got on a plane, flew home, got into bed that night, but I know I'll never stop thinking about Harry. <laughs> Wait, is this still on?